Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial and today it's uh, it's all about having a bit of fun on Photoshop and creating uh, creating these uh, miniature players. Uh, I've seen a few of them on social media and it's great fun. I was giggling quite a lot when I was making this and yeah, I've had a few requests for it and uh, I thought I would do a tutorial on it. So I made this Robert Firmino one as well and I think this one works fantastic because in the uh, actual image, Jordan Henderson's looking down, so it makes it uh, makes it even better. But what I'll do is I'll talk to you the method on uh, how I did it um, and uh, how I think it works. And without further ado, we're going to get into it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these images here. So bring up the image that you want to choose. Now, when you do choose your image, try and choose an image without a player um, that's in a challenge or that's got someone, a player, interacting with it because it makes it... Uh, a lot harder so it makes it um, quite simple to do for this method that I'm going to use anyway so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my layer so I'm going to press command J and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out the uh, the player that you want to uh, resize or shrink now I'm going to use the pen tool because it's my preferred method of cutting uh, cutting players out okay you can use whatever method you want quick selection tool if you're uh, if you're confident in that, if you're brand new to Photoshop and you're not really confident with a pen tool, another good method for uh, beginners is just masking. So go down to this little icon down here, select it. That this is your layer mask. Okay, and this little window will pop up. This little thumbnail. Okay, and this means you're going to work non-destructively. So if you hit B on your keyboard for the brush tool, okay, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Make sure you've got opacity and flow to 100%. Okay, I'm going to right click there. And I've set my hardness to 90%. Now, when I first started Photoshop, I wasn't confident on the pen tool. And because I've got black selected over here on my palette, it's not showing very well. If I uh, just get rid of that layer there. If I paint, if I paint away, okay, it's just hiding the pixels. And, and basically this way. Um, you're working non-destructively. So if I press X, I, I paint them back on. Anyway, I digress. If you uh, if you paint them away, okay, and you get real close, I found 90% of the brush hardness is the sweet spot, okay? You can just uh, paint around the player that you want. And once you've done that, you paint it around, you'll just have this image of Aguero. And when you bring it back on, he'll just pop up like this. But if you are doing that, okay, rename that player and then duplicate another layer. So then you'll have three layers. Uh, but for those following along with a pen tool, okay, I'm just going to delete that layer mask. For those following along with a pen tool, okay, or the quick selection tool, however you want to do it, okay, I'm just going to cut out Aguero, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, if you do uh, encounter something like this as well, where the shirt's going off the image, okay, just because we're going uh, to shrink it, okay, I'm just going to click it, and I'm going to just give it a little bit of a bend just to break it up so you've not got a straight line as well. It's all about problem solving uh, with things like this in Photoshop, so that's just uh, one thing uh, I wanted to mention there. Okay, so uh, we've uh, we've made our selection, and well, we've closed our path. Sorry, and then I'm going to make our selection there. And uh, zero pixels, anti lies new selection. Click OK. So we've got our marching ants. I'm going to press Command J. Let that just do its thing. Okay, and then if I uh, hide the images, you can see we've uh, we've got him there. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to hide that bottom layer there. So we've got this uh, this top layer. We can uh, hide Aguero there as well. So we've uh, we've just got this layer selected now here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my lasso tool. 
select the lasso tool okay and if you followed my um, how to remove anything from Photoshop it's pretty much exactly that okay so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and I what I like to do is I like to get the whole image what I'm cutting out in one go there okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and I'm just going to drag around as close to the subject as I can Round by the shirt, trying to capture as many pixels. Coming round by his arms. So I'm just going to do this um, really closely, again, capturing as many pixels as I can all the way around. Okay, so we've got our marching ants. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to press Shift and Backspace. Okay, and this is going to bring up my fill. So I'm going to make sure I've got Content Aware selected. Color Adaptation. Okay, you, um, if I remember correctly, on older versions you might not have that. Okay, I've got set the mode to normal, I pass it 100. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to let Photoshop do its thing. Very powerful tool. And we should notice Aguero disappears. So now I'm going to press Command D. Now you notice it's not quite perfect, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to do the same again, I'm just going to paint around this grey area here. Shift and backspace. And command D. And I might just do it again. Just around there, command and D. Uh, sorry, command and D, uh, wrong, just whip around it like that, shift and backspace, click OK and it looks a little bit better now, it just looks like uh, someone's wearing a jumper or something and the eyes probably won't be drawn to that, they'll be drawn to Aguero Clan D. Now if you notice this Jaguar bit as well, that doesn't look good so I'm going to go for my spot healing brush tool. Um, where am I going? I will use, yeah I'll use the spot healing brush tool Now, if you notice I've changed the shape on it as well, just blended it down. I'm just going to paint away just on that board, make it small in fact. Just get rid of that phony Jaguar, I think that'll do. And then I'm going to bring Aguero in, press Command T, in fact no, make sure I've got the correct layer selected, Command T for Aguero. And in fact before I resize him, all I'm going to do is I'm going to convert him to a small object so you don't lose any detail, Command T. And I'm just going to shrink him down and I'm going to place him with the foot of the shadow. Might make him a little bit bigger just to cover that bit there. And that is the method that I use. Uh, a couple of little points that I'd like to point out as well. So like on this Robert Firmino one. So if we notice on the main image, okay, it's quite big and these spotlights from the Anfield Road end, okay, they're uh, leaving a glow on Bobby's head. So when I got rid of him, uh, you'll notice there's a player in the background running over as well. Okay, what I did is I resized Firmino and I just brought him across. Uh, so if I get rid of that there, I just brought him right slightly just to hide that player. And also with the light, because I couldn't really colour in his hair, I just added a few spotlights um, along the bottom tier as well. Okay, so it's just all about problem solving as they're all there. So that glow is still there in his head and it looks quite natural. And people are not drawn to it. Just little things like that you have to think about and you have to try and problem solve. But there's the tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have fun making them. Um, if you do make some, please tag me in Instagram at TB Photoshop Tutorials because when I was making this, I was having a right little giggle. Uh, someone asked for a Peter Crouch one doing the robot, so... If someone wants to make a Peter Crouch one doing a robot and tag me in it, uh, please do, because that'll be hilarious, a small Peter Crouch. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, if you learned something. And if you're new to my channel uh, and like sports editing, please consider subscribing and check out the rest of my content. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in a tutorial very soon.